Hello and welcome to City Scene, a TV program about your city government. And today we're walking around in West Greenville talking about a, a big project the city's been working on for some time now and it's going to start coming to fruition, right? Yes, very soon, very we soon. Nikki Jones, our housing administrator. How are you, man? Doing well. How about yourself? Doing very well. Thanks for coming out here and joining us today. Thanks for having us. Now, we are in Lincoln Park, and, and I understand there used to be some nice or some homes back in through here. There were. Uh, several years ago, city purchased it, and we got lucky to gain site control over an area to where we can kind of control what happens here, and we want to come back with single-family homes. So what happened with these homes? These homes, a lot of these were dilapidated, run-down homes that uh, you guys bought the lots and then you took down the ho houses, right? That's correct. Actually, these lots were initially set aside for people who were going to be relocated from the 10th Street Connector. Uh -huh. uh, nobody who got reloaded for, relocated from the 10th Street Connector wanted to come back into this area. So now we are going to put them out to bid and have brand new single family homes constructed for home ownership, lease purchase, and rental. Now, I understand you guys have torn down the houses, obviously, but we see some of the piping and stuff here. You guys had to do a good bit of work on this land, didn't we you? We did. Uh, this is the oldest area of Greenville in the kind of the urban core. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the uh, what you see on the ground here is terracotta pipe. And we had to come back with PVC. We had to do some water and sewer inf or infrastructure upgrades. But that's just part of development and redevelopment. So OK, so tell me about the process of, of what you got coming up. So we have the pre-bid uh, that's being advertised right now mm -hmm. uh, for April 2nd, which is next Wednesday. And the contractors will meet us out here on site. We'll discuss, you know, what's going to happen and kind of the process and what we expect from the design of the homes, things of that nature. And then um, a week later, we'll get bids on these lots. So they'll bid on each lot. We have 16 lots out here mm -hmm. and they'll bid on each lot. Lowest bid will win. That bid includes the construction cost and also the land cost. So what you're looking for is these builders to come out here and say, I'm going to build XYZ house on this lot and here's how much it's going to cost. Absolutely. That, that, that's all factored in on the bid and of course the lowest bid will win. Um, we, we've had a lot of interest so we're hoping that a lot of uh, contractors will be out here. Now what happens if all the contractors say I'm going to bid on lot number one and lot number three but the rest of them not so much. What do you do? We hope that doesn't happen, Steve. <laughs> However, it could. We know we've thought about that. Um, if 10 contractors bid on lot one on Bancroft Avenue and uh, they're within $1,000 of each other, it doesn't matter the lowest bid will win. The lowest qualified bid. How about that? Got gotcha. you. Now, if you get that low bidder, lowest qualified bidder that wins on that, and you've got other empty lots, are you going to turn around to some of the other bidders and say, hey, you know, you didn't get this bid, but maybe that bid would be really good on this lot. Absolutely, absolutely. And hopefully, once again, that does not happen. Hopefully everybody's <laughs> bidding on these lots. Um, but yeah, that's what we would do. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so who's going to end up buying the houses then? Uh, these houses are set aside for people with 80% or below area median income. And for a single person, 80% or below area median income is right about $33,000. Okay, and that's for a family of four? For a single person. For a family of four, okay. we're looking at 80%, I think it's 44,150. So people who make less than that. Correct. That's what you're doing. And that's you correct. go through the normal process that you guys do anyway, where you help educate them about how to buy houses and you, you teach them about budgeting type stuff, things like that. Absolutely. Right? We have financial literacy classes. We have uh, home ownership classes, housing counseling classes, um, just to make sure people are ready to be a homeowner. Because not everybody is just ready to be a homeowner. I know I wasn't. Hey, I know I wasn't when I first bought a house. Then all of a sudden <laughs> you go, how being a homeowner sounded so cool, but man, I didn't think about all these other costs that you got going. That's at. right. That's so right. So you prepare these people to succeed rather than just kind of put it out there. Hey, we sold it. We're done. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're not going to set anybody up for failure. Okay. And you guys have a series of classes for financial literature or literacy, I should say, that are going through the spring, right? That's correct. Every third Monday of the month, uh, we have financial literacy classes at Carver Library. That's outstanding. I'm not going to put you on the spot for which classes are coming <laughs> yeah, up on Because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know where we've got that information is on the website. That's right? correct. So go to greenvalency.gov and look under the housing division of community development. You guys, you guys got that stuff. Right? Correct. Or you just go to the city calendar right there on the main page and just look on those Mondays. Uh, Christine's done a good job of putting those on the website. So uh, what else you got going on? Uh, we have Community Development Week coming up. I believe it's April 21st through the 26th. Uh, that's a big week for us. We have a lot of events. Um, we'll have an event out here, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. I, I used don't, to I don't, be CDBG week, right? It used to be CDBG week. Hopefully we can do another city scene when I have all this stuff in front of oh, me. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. We can talk Didn't about mean to that. put you on the spot. <laughs> all right. Now I'm talking again about the houses. 
Is there a phone number people can call for more information about these houses and about your other housing uh, opportunities as well? Absolutely. So you can call 252-329-4481, and that's Betty Mosley, or you can call myself, 252-329-4518. Nikki, thank you much, man. Thank you. Appreciate the time and the information. Appreciate it.